Now, we are bringing this expertise to the world of agriculture with the DJI Agris MG1, the first agricultural aerial platform designed for ultimate effectiveness, industry-level reliability, and precision spraying. One single Agris MG1 can carry 10 kilograms of fluid and cover 10,000 square meters on a single charge, 40 to 60 times faster than manual spraying. The Agris MG1 is dustproof and corrosion proof. It's also water resistant, so at the end of a spray, it can be rinsed clean. Its extreme reliability is possible through a specially designed internal cooling system. Air enters from the front and mist, dust, and large particles are filtered out before reaching the motors where heat is then dissipated into the surrounding air. Industry standard ceramic nozzles come pre-installed and can be swapped out if necessary. Spray quality is further enhanced with a downward facing radar that keeps the Agris MG1 at exactly the right height above the crops. Using the Agris MG1, modern farms can spray faster, more accurately, and more efficiently. Bringing the DJI powered aerial revolution to agriculture. With the Agris MG1, we are building the world of tomorrow. I'm an agricultural engineer. I've been working for about a year. 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 I've been working for 下次作业时直接调用数据就可以了。设置好喷洒参数和作业模式，上传到植保无人机以后，就能开始自动作业。操作简单，而且效率很高。我们一天能完成四五百亩的作业。有的田块不平整，手动调整高度很难，经常会喷洒不均匀。MGS 配备了三台雷达，飞的时候可以自动定高，完全不用担心调高影响喷洒质量。最终的喷洒效果是最重要的。MGS 配备了双水泵，可以分别控制前后两对喷头，比 MG 的喷洒精度更高。喷洒速度和飞行速度是联动的，飞行速度不稳定的时候也能做到均匀的喷洒，不会烧秒，也不会漏喷。对于植保队来说，飞机一定要便于维护和修理。MGS 进行了结构的优化，很多部件都可以拆分，需要修理的话很便捷，成本也低了不少。现在有了无人机打药，给我们农民节省了很多时间和精力。以前像我们这块地，一个工人一天才打四亩，现在有了无人机，两分钟就可以搞定。无人机打药，喷洒均匀，效果很好。玉米叶子的背面、茎部都可以喷到。以后有紧急的病虫灾害，就不再担心没有工人给我们喷药了。一年以来，我们的植保队由三个人增长到三十多个人。现在我们有二十多架无人机在附近的村镇同时作业。MGES 配备的大疆农业管理平台提供了整套的管理方案，打开平台就能实时查看每台飞机的状态和作业进度，可以直接统计工作量进行结算，还能把已经规划的任务指派给飞手，节约了很多车费的时间。有这个平台以后，我们的工作更有条理。更方便，效率提高了很多。大疆无人机植保解决方案给我很大的信心。今年我要扩张无人机植保业务，为更多的农户服务。Using DJI's cutting-edge aerial technology, the MG1S enables intelligent operation planning through the latest intelligent operation planning system. In this video. We are going to teach you how to use this intelligent operation planning system. Power on the remote controller and enter the app. Tap Field Plan at the bottom left of the screen and wait until the GPS signal strength reaches 10 satellites. Positioning accuracy will be about plus minus 2 meters. Tap Start Measuring in the lower right corner of the screen. Hold the remote controller and walk along the edge of the target field. Tap Add Waypoint C2 or press the C2 button on the back of the remote controller at each corner of the field. 
If there is an obstacle in the target field, tap Start Obstacle Measurement C1 or press the C1 button on the back of the remote controller. Walk around the obstacle and then tap End Obstacle Measurement C1 when finished. After marking an obstacle, continue measuring the field. Tap End Measurement when the field has been measured and all the obstacles have been marked. Tap and hold a waypoint on the screen. It can be dragged to another location. Tapping a waypoint once will change it from purple to blue, and waypoint tuning options will appear that allow an operator to tune a waypoint's position according to their needs. In route planning mode, tap twice to delete a waypoint. To change the position of an obstacle area, tap and hold the obstacle on screen. Drag the waypoint to a desired location. You can also adjust the spraying area, route direction, and distance. Hold the remote controller and walk out of the target field. Find a conspicuous object as a calibration point, then tap Add Calibration Point C3 or the C3 button on the back of the RC to confirm. Tap Save Task, name the task, choose the target crop, and then tap complete to exit field planning. Turn on the MG-1S aircraft and remote controller. Here we use mode 2 to demonstrate the process. Toggle the flight mode switch to F mode and use the app to calibrate the compass. Make sure every part of the aircraft is secure and fully functional. Fill the tank with some water to see if the spraying system works. If it doesn't work, adjust the valve. Tap task list and choose a previously saved task. Tap confirm to edit the current task by adjusting line width, height, or other parameters. Place the aircraft at the previously set calibration point and tap rectify offset on the screen. Tap start after seeing the set work mode prompt. Set a flight speed and pesticide usage amount and tap confirm. If the takeoff point is wide and open, you can choose Slide to take off with a tap on the screen or manually fly to the targeted height and tap Slide to execute to start spraying. Thanks for watching. The MG1S is a high performance aircraft capable of offering comprehensive solutions for agricultural care. This video will show you how to record point A and point B in smart operations mode. Before we start, ensure that pesticides are in the spray tank. Before recording point A and point B, press the spray button to discharge any remaining air in the pump and then stop spraying, otherwise point A and point B cannot be recorded. First toggle the flight mode switch to the P position and ensure that the GPS signal is strong. Next, toggle the operation switch to the M position. Then fly the MG1S and make it hover at point A on the operation route. Press the button A on the remote controller for 0.6 seconds until point A is recorded successfully. Or tap the A icon in the app on the on-built screen of the remote controller. Next, make the MG1S hover at point B on the operation route. Press the B button on the remote controller for 0.6 seconds until point B is recorded successfully. Or tap the B icon in the app on the built-in screen of the remote controller. Then press the back left button C1 or the back right button C2 to choose the direction of the operation route. C1 indicates left, while C2 indicates right. If you do not see its direction, the operation route direction will be set to right by default. Toggle the operation mode switch to the S position. Finally, make the MG1S hover in place. Press the C1 button and C2 button at the same time and release them after you hear a DD sound. Then the MG1S will enter continuous smart operation mode and fly according to the preset route while spraying pesticides. In smart operation mode you can adjust the spray rate with the remote controller based on your needs. If you want to change the operation direction, you need to switch from Smart Operation Mode to Manual Mode and press the C1 button or the C2 button.
This video will introduce the DJI Agris MG-1S and show you how to assemble the aircraft. In the box, you will find the following items. The aircraft, two landing gears, the remote controller, the liquid tank, and three radar sensing modules, which are already mounted to the liquid tank. Attaching the landing gears, connect the hose clamps to landing gear ports, then attach the M3 times six screws and tighten them. Mount the landing gear with the compass cables to the right of the aircraft status indicator. Remove the cable clamps from the compass ports. Connect the compass cables to the compass ports, then reattach the cable clamps. Mount the right landing gear to the aircraft and be careful not to damage the cables. Then mount the left landing gear. Connect the anti-creep slides to the right landing gear. Secure each side of the right landing gear with two M3 times 10 screws at the front and one M3 times 10 screw at the rear. Secure each side of the left landing gear with one M3 times 10 screw at the front and two M3 times 10 screws at the rear. Mounting the battery ports. Mount each battery port to the landing gears at the bottom of the airframe as shown. Secure each battery port with an M3 times 22 screw. Connect an anti-creep slide to each side and attach two M3 times 18 screws to secure them. Mounting the spray tank. Unscrew the nuts on the delivery pump connectors. Slide one nut onto the white T-jointed hose and attach the hose to the left connector on the delivery pump. Then, slide the other nut onto the black T-jointed hose and attach it to the right connector. Tighten both nuts. Unscrew the nut on the white hose's T-joint and connect the nozzled white hose to the T-joint. Then, tighten the nut and repeat the same steps with the black hoses. Insert the two T-joints into the notches between the delivery pumps. The white hose T-joint should be placed above the black hose T-joint. Connect the black hose to the white hose with two hose clamps on each side. Make sure to align the white hoses outside of the black hoses to prevent the hoses from crossing. Align the clamp holes and use M4 times 8 screws to fix them onto the spray tank. Unscrew the spray tank cap and place the spray tank under the airframe with the delivery pump facing the rear of the aircraft. Pull the hoses through the gaps on landing gears. Position the spray tank with the injection port sticking out of the gap on right landing gear. Align the mounting holes with the plugs on the left landing gear. Insert the notch on the right of the spray tank into the connector on the landing gear. Push the right landing gear beams up to the marking line and tighten the screws on the beam. Use an M3 times 12 screw to secure the notch to the connector. Connect the radar cable to the radar port at the bottom of the airframe. Connect the left delivery pump cable to the left port and the right delivery pump cable to the right port. Make sure the radar clamp is tightened and the radar sensing module is properly installed. Unfolding the arms. Unfold the arms completely and tighten the arm sleeves. Make sure the arms are correctly installed. The M1 and M2 arms should be installed at the front of the aircraft and the M5 and M6 arms should be at the rear. Mounting the nozzles and hoses. Install the white hose nozzles to the bottom of the M3 and M8 motors. Then, install the black hose nozzles to the bottom of the M4 and M7 motors. Secure the four nozzles with 12 M3 times five screws. Place one hose clamp on each hose. Then fix the hoses to the bottom of the arms with T3 times eight self-tapping screws. Connect each hose to the notches on the landing gears. Finally, attach the protection board to the right landing gear, which prevents the liquid from sloshing during injection. Mounting the battery. Insert the battery into the slot above the spray tank from the front of the aircraft. Secure the battery with the battery strap and battery clamp. To power on the aircraft, connect the cable to the power communication port. Then, connect the XT90 cable to the corresponding port. Then, the MG-1S will power on. Installing a wireless adapter. Remove the four screws on the remote controller's back cover and remove the cover. Ensure a SIM card has been installed properly into the wireless network adapter. 
Then, connect the wireless network adapter to the USB port at the back of the controller. Mount the back cover and tighten the screws, troubleshooting the wireless network adapter. Press the power button on the controller. Then, press and hold the button to power on the controller. Open the DJI app and tap Settings and choose Network Diagnosis. If the DJI Agriculture Management Platform shows as normal, the wireless network adapter and SIM card are functioning normally. Agris MG1S installation is now complete. Thank you for watching.